All right, budget magic time. Playing some black white tokens. Ay, a lot of lands, but I think this is all right. We get to scry in turn one. Intangible virtue is really good, so we just want to scry into a token card, not a planes. I swear to God, we're gonna draw that planes again. I know it. <laughs> I know it. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Well, that's bad. Whoa, smoldering marsh, eh? Is it the planes? Ooh, it's not the planes. Uh, let's just play Intangible Virtue. Uh, actually, that was bad sequencing. I probably should have waited, flashed and raised the alarm, and then played Intangible Virtue next turn, so I could have attacked for four. It's those little things. What are we up against? What plays Smoldering Marsh? Ooh, Young Pyromancer. And Gitaxian Probe. Hmm. Okay. So this might be like Grixis Delver, just without the blue mana. Or I guess they could just be shocking themselves with Probe and not have any blue mana. Uh, there's the planes. Alright, let's play the planes, pass the turn. Let's see if our opponent lets us trade with this young Pyromancer. Dark Confidant. Is this... I don't know what we're up against. Alright, let's, uh... Raise the alarm. Make a couple tutus with Vigilance, thanks to Intangible Virtue. Uh, another Planes? Well, we are flooding out, which is... Flooding out's one thing. Flooding out when you already keep a land-heavy hand is really painful. We just haven't had very many spells to resolve. Opponent's just chumping? Wow. Okay. Well, let's play this hero. Gotta expect they have a way to kill that. If the hero lives, they will get run out of this game really quickly. Dark Confidant reveals an island. So this is like Grixis Delver. They probably have Terminates. Might also have Dismembers. Smallpox? Smallpox is not great against the token deck. Like, we're just gonna sack a half of a raise the alarm. I guess our opponent gets to sack half of a uh, or not even half, some small percentage of Young Pyromancer. And we have so I guess it's good that we're flooding, because we have plenty of lands to survive smallpox. Can they kill the hero is the question. Probe. Seems like it's getting less likely. If they gotta just put all their creatures in front of a hero, they're in trouble. Oh man, are we gonna get an attack in with hero? Uh, ooh, that's sweet too. That's really sweet. Let's play caves and promise. So whenever a creature we control dies, we get to sack this, and we get four one-one colorless spear tokens, which are actually two twos with vigilance. So basically, eight, eight power and toughness for. A small amount of mana. Three. So we get two more 1-1s one from Hero. Battle cry the team, so our tokens will become three twos. And now, because of that promise of uh, Bunri, blocking isn't even that great for our opponent. And this also is sweet protection against a Wrath, which I don't expect them to be playing, but flip a three. Come on. You can do it. Oh, Mountain. Our opponent is staying alive. But yeah, they're they're done for. Not we out token the young pyromancer pretty easily. All right, so pyromancers, Grixis Delver, we might want duresses. Although that went really well. We can get rid of this oblivion ring. Paths. Zealous persecution seems insane. Maybe we bring in duresses to try to make sure we resolve our zealous persecution and try it like that. Take out one triplicate spirits, one promise, and. Just try to resolve a Zealous Persecution. Zealous Persecution is a pretty good card in a lot of non-Eldrazi matchups. Hmm. Hand seems weak to Smallpox, but overall solid. And a lot of these cards have bad art. Like, worse than the original. Blackmail. Uh, I don't think we can show them the plane. Take your pick. You can have one of our token producers. 
probably Spectral Procession. I'm not sure if there's a good reason to play Blackmail over Thought Caesar Inquisition, other than budget. But Bob isn't really budget. If you can afford Bob's, you should be able to afford Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize isn't that expensive. And Inquisition isn't that expensive online. They take triplicate spirits? Okay. Well, if we get hit by smallpox, we might never cast a spell. Alright, no smallpox yet. Duress, we don't have black mana yet. Alright, Intangible Virtue. Super powerful. Now what? Uh, Dark Confidant. Uh, well, it doesn't match up super well with our Spectral Procession. You make a 2 1 for 2, we get 3 2 2s for 3. I think we're coming out ahead. We could use Black Mana eventually. Flashback Lingering Souls and so forth. If they're bolting a token, yeah. That feels. That always feels like a win when your opponent is spending a whole card to kill one third of a token producer. There's a smallpox, which could set us back unless we draw black mana. Now we're going to have to discard Lingering Souls. Unless they decide not to cast it because they will lose their bob, unless they can play another creature. They probably want to go like Young Pyromancer into Smallpox. Electrolyze kills a token. Blackmail. Alright, Souls, Hero, Duress. Save the Gather the Town folk, because that's the one card we know we can cast. I mean, flashback Lingering Souls eventually. If they don't take Lingering Souls, then we probably just cast that next turn. They might feel like they have to take, yeah, Hero, because Hero is pretty unbeatable. Alright, we would still like a Black Source. Another Lingering Souls. Alright, let's uh, get in with our Spirit. Lingering Souls. Keep making Spirits. So our opponent ended up taking the one card that we actually couldn't cast. And they draw a Molten Rain. So I guess they can kill one of our lands, but... I don't know if it really matters. They're pretty far behind just to our board, unless they have a Pyroclasm or something. The stack is spicy. Jory N in Modern. And Probe draws... <laughs> really? Opponent? I mean, I guess they wanted to draw those cards, but... Seven is not a life total you really want to be at when you're facing six evasive power. I guess there could be... I mean, this doesn't seem like a budget deck. I guess this could be because it doesn't cost life. Their deck does tend to pay a lot of life, so maybe they're playing blackmail purely because it's like a thought seize ish effect, but then you'd play Inquisition. I don't know. I, I can't justify it. We're not going to block this, Bob. Well, we want our opponent to have to kill their own Bob. And we're at such a high life total, taking two is not a cost. Oh, man. We would have won on the spot if we had drawn a black source. And we won anyway. Well, points for being spicy for our opponent. 